Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. I got the most incredible bundle from Moulds and Shapes, which included these gorgeous inlays, these mandala inlays. And I also got this larger inlay. It's got like a star stroke flower pattern on it, which is going to go ideally with this round mould. Now, some of you may have already seen this unboxing over on my Instagram, but for those of you who don't have Insta, look at this mold oh my gosh when i opened this in the box i got so excited this is a huge mold of loads of different sized tags so we've got the circular we've got the hearts and we've got the tag tag i guess it's a tag shape but there's 10 of each and i just cannot wait to use this mold but the mold we're using in today's video for these coasters is the circular round coaster mold with the gorgeous little heart in the middle they do this to save silicon and i think it's genius let's go <laughs> already seen the thumbnail i am going geode crystal crushed glass effect coasters now i've already got some crushed glass some of you would have seen me use this in previous videos but i've got this purple crushed glass that i got from ebay if i can find it i will link it below but i'm also going to be using some crushed glass that i got from the garden center now it's the same company that do the stones that i've been using recently in my botanical resin i'm going to show you it on screen and i'm hoping Hopefully, going to find them online and also link them below as well. So the first thing I'm doing is I want to create a geode style. So I'm going in circles in these circle molds. I've been waiting. I've really been waiting for these circle molds. I've been so excited to have the circle molds. So yeah, I cannot wait to create more coasters with these. I've already asked my Patreons um, over on my Patreon page um, what colours they would go for. So they've given me some really great colour choices. Purple was the number one. So I said I would start with purple. So here we are. I'm just arranging the purple crushed glass in these little circles. Now, again, I'm going geode. So to me, when you look at a geode crystal, you kind of get this layered effect and especially geode art. That is what I was going for with these coasters. Now, I did take my time here. The next section is going to be really sped up because it was time consuming mainly because I didn't want to bruise or damage or scratch the mold in any way. So of course all of this glass is quite sharp. You want to be really gentle with your silicon molds, especially these. They are handmade with love and I am so conscious about kind of marking them in any way. Now you see here I put the crystal clear crushed glass into the center this kind of was a waste of time. You you all know, I know, we know that if we put anything clear into resin, it kind of disappears on itself. Um, so yeah, we do lose a little bit of those, but we still see the mirror. So this is mirrored crushed glass. So around the whole piece, you still get those mirror reflections. Now, this section here, honestly, took the longest time. So that is why it is going super speedy in the video. I had to really be careful not to scratch the mold. But the lighter glass, it's kind of a mid color between the pale and the dark. I am outlining the molds in those. So this is going to give me that real typical stereotypical geode shape that I was going for. And in my mind... <laughs> in my mind i figured this would look great this would look great kind of knew where i was going but it is a case of going slowly because again you don't want to damage your molds here so i was using my lollipop stick to bring all of those pieces of glass back to the edge the only thing i was nervous about here oh my gosh look at the close-up how pretty is it so so pretty the only thing i was nervous about is i rarely I rarely line my molds with crystals and no resin because I always worry that the resin won't find its way around the edges. It won't find its way in. Now, I'm using this stunning color from Resin Detra Supplies. Helena at Resin Detra Supplies actually sent me so many stunning pastes to try out in my resin. I'm going to link her down below. So if you're interested in trying her pastes, 
This is the purple. Oh my gosh, it's such a gorgeous color. She sent me some beautiful colors and I will be posting a picture of those as well on my Instagram so you guys can check them out. But please head over to Helena at Resin Detra Supplies if you are interested in trying this. Right, okay, this is where I got nervous. So I was going in with the clear resin around those edges and naturally what I really want that resin to do is seep down underneath and into all of those stones. But I have to tell you up front, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. We've got beautiful coasters at the end of it, but we've definitely got some holes, unfortunately, that, you know, I could have prevented had I mixed the stones in with the resin in the first place. So if I was to do this again, we are all here to learn together from all of the lessons that I tend to have in my videos. Um, if I did this again, I would definitely mix those outer edge stones in with resin before placing them down in my mold because the resin did not want to go in and under at this stage. So the next thing I'm doing is just adding that purple paste. Such a beautiful, what was it? I was looking for a word earlier. I think the word is delicate. It's delicate. It's a very delicate purple, almost lavender, lilac. It is obviously lilac, but it's, yeah, it gave me lavender vibes and it gave me a real delicate wispy whimsical color um so i was really loving this shade at this point so this vista um resin that i'm using in this video is actually vista cascade i have realized that vista turbo doesn't blend much it really doesn't it's such a fast curing resin that when you're doing things like this if this was turbo it would stay right there as you're seeing on screen now but because this is cascade this is a 24 hour cure it gave the resin time to blend and move into the center as resin does so here we are 24 hours later and i'm giving it i'm giving all the coasters a top coat so that was the other thing to mention i didn't fill them all up i wanted to make sure that none of those crystals were going to protrude um, out of the surface and this is next day top coat the first thing I'm noticing is I've lost the centers. You can all see that. So if you can learn anything from me, we can learn together and um, try not to use clear crushed glass in your resin. We all know it, of course, but because it was mirrored, you can still see some of the mirror directly in the center of the coasters. So that's lesson number one. I wouldn't have done that in hindsight. I knew, I knew, but you know, hey, it's still pretty because of the mirror. Second thing I realise is that I think I was expecting way too much out of my crushed glass. <laughs> they do look geode. They definitely have a geode look about them. But for me, I can't look. Yeah, this is next day, 24 hours later. For me, I just feel like a lot of that crushed glass shiny bling got lost. I still like them. I still think they're pretty but I kind of felt like the underside was prettier. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. This is the top coated side. And then when I flipped them over, I just thought, wow, I can see so much more of that reflective crushed glass, gl crushed glass, crushed glass. But yeah, I think they are so, so pretty, delicate. I didn't like them at first, halfway through the project. I even told my patrons like, no, I'm not feeling this at all. I don't like them. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking them at this stage. But what I definitely know is I need to give them a silver outline. I feel like the silver pen would make them pop. So that is what I did. Let me know your thoughts and let me know if you've tried this technique of just putting crushed glass in your mold to create a geode as opposed to, you know, creating the geode that we know. But here is the pen I'm using. This is the Deco Color Silver Metallic Pen. If I find it, I will link it below. But guys, I am searching. I have been searching Amazon for about a month and I still cannot find them. But I will look again. If I find it, I'll link it. You can see the sides here because I laid down the crystals dry, completely dry. I won't do that again. I think it was my first time ever trying that, but not my cup of tea, not my bag. I won't do that again. I will make sure they are completely coated in resin before I put them in the mold, making sure that those edges are fully happy and okay. 
But these pens, honestly, if anyone knows where you can get these pens in the UK easily, and I mean cheaply as well, because, yeah, I don't have a business brain, so I don't want to be paying people 15, 20 pounds for these pens because they've imported them. So if you can, if, you, if anyone knows where you can get them in the UK, then please let me know. Um, but that is what I'm doing. I'm going around the whole edge with the silver just because I feel like it's going to make it pop. At this point, I thought I'd come up and over the top as well. I love that sometimes. Here you go. You can just see it if I turn it in the light. Now, the trick for me doing this is keep my hand still. My hand does not move. I move the coaster. This is the easiest way I find to get that edge completely and utterly uniform all the way round. I have tried it the other way where I go around bit by bit by bit with the pen and honestly, so much easier to keep your hand that you write with, keep it still, use your other hand to move the coaster, but look how it makes them pop, absolutely brings them to life and makes them pop so, so much. And all I'm going to do at this point is rest it down onto a a clear pla clear plastic it really doesn't matter what you rest it on to be honest I'm just resting it on a plastic pot just so that that edge can dry I'm not going to place it flat on a surface just in case any of that pen has gone under and smudges and yeah I was just showing you that these are all the little things that I kind of tend to do off camera but I just went ahead I coated all four of them in the silver pen I brought the pen up and around the edge at the front and love them now I love them now. It's like the pen has transformed them. So I am so much happier with the results. Again, gorgeous shade of purple. I love the paste. I'm not I'm not happy with the crushed glass. My expectations of that glass were high. <laughs> they were high. You can see the glass on the table. I've used it for decorative purposes and look how blingy it is. But it all got lost in the resin and yeah, a little bit sad. But still at the end of it, we have four very pretty coasters. I hope you've loved this video. Let me know what you would do, what techniques you use. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.